And what do we think is the uh, route or mechanism through which methionine exerts this effect? I don't know that, that that's still really being being worked out. There are lots of mechanisms that have been proposed. I suspect mTOR plays a role. Um, you know, people have thought about, so of course, uh, you know, methylation, methyl donors are important for a bunch of different epigenetic modifications. So there may be a role there going back to the epigenome mm -hmm. that we talked about. Methionine is the first amino acid in every protein. Yep. So there could be effects on protein synthesis. There's evidence linking methionine restriction to sulfur amino acid uh, biology, which has been implicated in, in aging. So I it's hard to know, and maybe it's not one thing. It's hard. And it's those hard all to know. sound like potentially just a substrate reduction problem, right? Like less sulfur cross bridging, less protein synthesis. Right. Well, uh, yeah, and and again, you know, if you look back in the the literature in the invertebrates, inhibition of and inhibition of protein synthesis in some cases is enough to extend lifespan, and of course, mTOR is a primary regulator of protein synthesis. Yeah. So when you inhibit mTOR you can also inhibit protein synthesis. So there's that's part of the challenge here is this network is so interconnected that when you tweak one part of it, you have effects throughout the network 